exposing me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell them what you did, though. Tell them what you did. All right. So I had a girl, and uh, and he's yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, most. Yeah, get, get, like, yeah, tell the truth. Doing the most because I... Words, you, you because get tripped I, up on your words because you ain't No, because truth. you're doing the tell most. most. You're doing the tell most. Me. Are you seriously throwing my stuff? Are you putting all my stuff out the door? What are you doing? Because you have to leave. You're not staying here. You think you finna disrespect me like I'm that. not staying here. No. But you, this is my house. But you finna leave. What? You finna leave if you're not gonna respect me, though. That's what you're I do. told you. I was honest. This is what... Look, and people want honesty, right? This is, this is what you get for being honest. The, the like, stuff, are you about to put my stuff the, down? I'm the, not going nowhere, though. The stuff you do have. But I'm not can... going all little stuff I have. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? You need to, I can't what are you doing? You. No, I, I can't believe you. you. Look at you. Look at you. Him. Bro. Look, look. You. Insecure. I, insecure. I'm insecure. In cheat me. on you. It, I did not cheat on you. because it was, a, it was a woman. I didn't... Yes. It was a woman. That's yep. why it that's why it's not cheating. And yes. I'm insecure because of that. Yes, man. Look. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you going ballistic, putting all my stuff by the door? Because you think this like, is a what's game. Wrong with you? you think this is really a game. I can't believe you. I a game. Believe. I can't you 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 really need to get out. Can you I put my you. stuff back in the closet? You need to get out for put real. my stuff back. I can't believe that you think what And you I can't believe that cheating. you're doing all of this. And you calling me insecure. Yeah, insecure. And the fact insecure. that you shows me that you have no remorse and no respect for me at all. None at all. No. I want you to see how you look. Because doing what, the most because I had a little too much to drink and had oh, a little true. fun with a friend. Okay, and you call it fun, and I'm right. Yep. And you think this? You think I? You think I'm supposed to be okay with that? There's no respect in our relationship. It's no respect. Me... I was honest. Are you serious right now, Keith? Come pick my stuff up. Come pick my stuff up. Come, would it come, put put my stuff down? Please. Are you serious? Put my stuff on. Can you put my stuff down? All right. Bro, I cannot believe you. You gonna be the one picking it up. So it's cool. It's cool. You gonna be the one putting it back. You gonna be the one putting it back. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going anywhere. And get that file out my face, bro. For real, I'm not playing with you. What are you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, bro? You need to get out, bro. Get out. You need to get out. I'm not playing with you. You are so insecure, bro. Yo, fellas, this is what happens when you're a good man but you wifed up a bird and this is why as a man you always have to pay attention to the signs fam if a woman shows you any signs any red flags that she's for the streets you gotta leave her alone instantly don't let it reach to this point now the good thing in this situation this brother handled it with grace because it's crazy after she was dishonest she called him insecure insecure because he's a man with pride he's a man who demands his respect he's a man who got standards and morals and integrity that he lives by she called them insecure fellas let a bird fly high and what's so crazy about this situation it seems like this bird don't even have nowhere to go but the streets fellas no one to walk away and no one to give a woman the boot that's just the bottom line now this right here is crazy so dj academics reveals that his girlfriend stole five hundred thousand from him that's a lot of money and it tells me that he's dealing with women who are low hanging fruits he's dealing with straight birds broke women who are looking for a come up and they see him as nothing but a come up they see him as a bag of money that's up for takes 
Fellas, this is why I tell you all, all the time, bro. You got to self-improve. You got to tap into your mind, body, and soul. Don't just be a fat dude who only focus on getting money. Because the only type of women that you are going to attract is hoes, birds, chicks who are looking at you like you a come up. Because if a chick see a fat nigga with money, the first thing she's thinking, oh, he's a trick. And whenever a woman think you're a trick fam, this is what's going to happen. She's going to get around you and she's going to get your money one way or the other. If you're not going to give it to her, she's going to take it from you because that's the only reason why she's around you. Fellas, this is why I tell y'all, man, you got to self-improve, fam. A nigga like academics, man, this dude need to hit the gym. The importance of hitting the gym, bro, health is wealth. That is the real wealth. Money don't make you wealthy. Money is a tool. Your real wealth is in your health. So a guy like him, man, he need to hit the gym and what's going to happen is it will allow him to improve his mindset and it will allow him to keep away from messing with hoes low hanging fruits because he's fat and he can't see that because he's vibrating at a very low point in life and the thing about money money is just going to highlight who you are so if you were a trick before you got money if you get money you become a bigger trick, a bigger simp, a bigger come up. That's all money does. Money just highlights who you are. This is a man who really needs to take some time off and really work on himself. Because all he's going to be to most of these women is a fat dude who's a trick, who's a come up. That's it. Fellas, be wise out here, man, for real. LaJoyce, we've unlocked your phone as well. Are you ready for this? Okay, then. There was a lot of sex talk between LaJoy and this other man. He told her... She he used the words like, I love you, referring to her as this queen and beautiful, and communicating with this guy is as recent as two days ago. The texts on the, the, these texts are from September of 2023. Mm. See, this is why I always say, if you're going to go through your girl phone, be prepared to move on. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. Fellas, if you go through your girlfriend's phone right now, you are going to see something that you don't want to see. You are going to see something that's enough for you to end the relationship. But a lot of times when men go through their girl phones, instead of moving on, they start arguing with their girl. Who is this dude? So you've been fucking this dude? How long you been talking to this dude? A bunch of unnecessary bullshit when the only thing that a man should do is walk away at that point. But a lot of men don't have the guts to walk away. It's like y'all be eager to know if your girl is cheating only to cry and ask her why like a little bitch. But fellas, if you go through your girl phone, you have to be willing to walk away. If you're not willing to do that, do not go through your girl phone. It's that simple. This is crazy. What do you think the issue is with dating right now? Oh my God, men. Inconsistency, inhonesty, and... Men. A lack of telling the whole truth, I feel like. Yes, I love your shoes! What about men is the issue here? Because they fucking talk about body count. What the fuck is talking about body count for? As long as you're safe, you're okay, and you're not fucking cheating, who cares? What if your daughter had a body count of 50 at age 19? Right. So as long as you're safe, you're not fucking cheating, who cares? So you... No. Can I talk? Okay. As long as you're safe, right? You're not fucking home wrecking, who the fuck cares? Okay, because if you no. want to... No, no, let me talk, let me talk. As long as you talk about body count, right? There's 8 million people in the world, plus. Plus 8 million people work. And you want to talk about 8 million people in the world, you want to sleep with 20, 100, yada, yada, yada. Who fucking cares? Why are you talking about body count? Why that, are you talking about body count? Is that, is that going to have a negative or a positive implication in their life? Implication for what? Why the fuck are you talking about body count? You're how old and you want to talk about body count? That's embarrassing. Is that a good thing mentally? Mentally for what? For her or anybody at that. No, no, no. It doesn't give a fuck. Because, like, if you want to talk about body count and you want to talk about the implications, who the fuck cares?
If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. Y'all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch. Y'all already know, man, STC, support the content. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and follow me right now on Facebook. I'm going to be posting content every day on Facebook starting from today. Follow your boy right now, AQ Reaction.